What's going on? You're watching NFL Daily. I'm Mitchell Renz. That's Tom Downey. And we got the latest NFL news and rumors. And there are a ton of trade rumors because the trade deadline time is just about two weeks away, October 29th. Yeah. I can't freaking wait. You did the math that time. I'm proud of you. Hey, I'm, I'm doing better here at Chat Sports. Make sure you guys are always commenting below. So if you want some news, rumors, make sure you guys are subscribed. YouTube.com slash Chat Sports TV. Tom, you ready to talk about Trent Williams? Because, uh... Is he going to the They've Browns? Been freaking out. Uh, Twitter's <laughs> been freaking out about this one. There were some reports, I I'd say, of questionable repute, if that's the proper phrase there. I'm not the guy to ask. It's a good point there. That the Browns were on the verge of landing Trent Williams, which one local Cleveland TV station was like, Browns have landed him. Like it was just like it was a <laughs> it was a terrible game of telephone. Now what happened today is GM John Dorsey did confirm that there have been trade talks, which I think is very noteworthy there, but also kind of implied it takes two to tango and that. Maybe the Redskins aren't being all that willing to trade away Trent Williams right now, which does stick with their public statements, or I guess their leaked public statements of we're not trading him away. Have you ever tangoed? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't maybe. even know what tangoing looks like. So guess what? Instead of that, we're gonna show you what the Browns' <laughs> offensive line depth chart looks like. I mean, I think overall, Tom, I think this is a pretty solid offensive line, but Baker Mayfield has not looked good whatsoever. They've kind of struggled running the football with Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb, I thought, has looked pretty good. But overall, I mean, I think Trent Williams would definitely help this offensive line. So the question that we're going to ask everyone on today's show on NFL Daily, will Williams be dealt before the NFL trade deadline? Why for yes and for no? There definitely are some very clear Browns offensive line issues, but some of this blame does go towards Baker Mayfield. Absolutely. Who's holding the ball on average 2.9 seconds. That's tied for third highest in the NFL. If you got if you got a bad offensive line or an iffy offensive line, you got to get that ball out. Now, I think that's also some play calling issues too for Cleveland. I agree. It's all connected here. But it, it, to answer your question on Trent Williams, I think is it they Baker's should. Fault? <laughs> I think they should. I think it, uh, he is going to be dealt at some point. Okay. But I'm pretty close to 50-50 if it's before the trade deadline or if it's in the offseason. So why for yes and for no? And if you're not a fan of Baker Mayfield, let us know in the comments section. Let's talk about Emmanuel Sanders, a very, very common player when you're talking about trade rumors. And now Tom reports that teams have called about Sanders, which I think makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I look, I think for Sanders' side of things, for Sanders' side, long term, he's in the last year of his contract, so he's yes. going to be a pending fridge. That does kind of bring down his trade value a little bit. Denver, meanwhile, who of course has to decide what they're going to do here, okay. they're not quite. Hey, we're out of it. We're, we're, we're not quite. I mean, they're two out and four. They did just win a game, and heck, if they can they're beat close. the Chiefs, if they can well, beat the Chiefs, they're three and four. I mean, then this division gets a lot more interesting. So. And, and beyond that point, if de nine and seven might get you in. In, in, in the AFC playoff race, so I think that makes sense. Now, it also makes a ton of sense for teams who need wide receiver help to come in, and maybe it's the Green Bay Packers, the Patriots, the Saints, the 49ers. All those teams make sense. Does either does one of those jump out to you specifically there? I mean, I feel like he, him on the Patriots would be a very interesting fit. I feel like he would be able to fit that offense very, very well. The Packers, they're a 5-1 team. But the one thing that you've noticed, if anybody watched our NFL power rankings, here are our top four teams. Mm -hmm. These teams that are going to go out and I think trade for an Emmanuel Sanders who is an incredible story towards Achilles last year and then has been you know able to come back rather quickly mm -hmm. and been able to produce pretty well. So the Packers, the Patriots, the Saints, and the 49ers. So we've been doing a lot more NFL trade coverage. Yeah. And if the NFL trade deadline, like I said, it's on October 29th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. But if you want more live coverage, I want you to subscribe right now. So you see that link below, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. If you know somebody that likes the NFL, I want you to take that link, youtube.com slash chatsportstv, and send it to them. Yeah. Send it to anybody you know, and then tag Tom at What's Going Downey, and tag me at MitchellRens365 on IG, Twitter. That's also my Snapchat. Heck, let's spread the show, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Subscribe. Do it. Let's talk about Josh Rosen. Because this dude got benched, and uh, anytime I, I talk about Josh, I kind of just might as well take off my mic, and uh, yeah. Go. I, I feel <laughs> it's just insane to me. Like, look. Ludicrous, Luda. Thank, thank you, Mitch. I appreciate that. I'm just a hype man. Yeah, yeah, that you are. So before I get into my Rosen rant here, um, as I'm sure you've heard, the Dolphins are benching Josh Rosen, going back to Ryan Fitzpatrick because they're trying to win games? <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what their do. plan is. 
But what this is to me, Mitch, okay. is a clear sign that Josh Rosen is not in the team's long-term plans. So why they traded for him, I don't really know. The, the, this, this entire Josh Rosen Miami experiment has just been one question mark to me. I, I don't understand any of it. Now, make no mistake, Rosen has not been good. It's not like Ryan Fitzpatrick has been very good either. Both of them have been terrible. It's almost like the two teams Josh Rosen have, has, have played for have been bad. Have been the worst in the <laughs> NFL. Like he's had zero help. And if you're not a mobile quarterback, Rosen's a pocket passer behind a bad offensive line, you're, you're cooked. I have nothing to do there. And then this week alone, all right, so October 9th, right? Brian Flores. Rosen is our starter for the rest of the year. We're not, we're, he's going to be the guy. Okay, that makes sense. You might as well see what you have, right? Mid-game against the Redskins, Rosen is benched after the game plan suddenly becomes very check downy, and it, they were very much going deep downfield. All of a sudden, they dial it back, and I'm not really sure why. I get right to the good pass rush, but it was weird to me. So the next day, Flores says, oh, no, I still think Rosen's going to be the starter. October 16th. No longer is Rosen the starter. It is now Ryan Fitzpatrick. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Check down. He's done. He's done Love in going Miami. Downy. All here on NFL Daily. So where will Josh Rosen play in 2020? Tom, chances maybe it's in the XFL? I think someone's going to trade for him. <laughs> uh, if you guys haven't question. seen our XFL um, video, go check it out on YouTube.com. The, the, the issue for Rosen is that he never really got a great opportunity. Or I mean, an opportunity. I mean, we've <laughs> seen quarterbacks really never get going. I mean, you can go back to David Carr, who... Maybe, look, maybe his transcendent talent never came through, but look, the situation matters a lot more than we ever want to admit. Yeah. When you are, your best offensive weapon has been Larry Fitzgerald, if you're Josh Rosen. Yep. Your best offensive lineman is... I couldn't name a single offensive lineman. On the either team for the past two years. The Cardinals last year were down to literally their third string offensive line. Like, they had lost their top two guys across the board by the end of the season. Yeah. The Dolphins are playing a bunch of nobodies this year. So, I know that Rosen has not thrived. I don't know what quarterbacks would have thrived in those scenarios, though. Probably not. a terrible not. coordinator, but terrible play calling in Arizona, by the way. You can make a mid-season change. It doesn't really help you all that much because you have to fully change the offense. So, Rosen will play somewhere. I just don't know where. And I hope he, maybe you just groom him for a year and say, take the year, get your head right, and get yourself – ready to play football again because you've been screwed the past two seasons. I think you're grooming pretty nice. So. Oh, thank you. You look good. It's and also, I got a deal that's going to look even better here at the Action Network. Go to chatsports.com slash deal. We got 40% off thanks to the Action Network. So if you're on BetDSI, if you're on my bookie, and you're already at these places to put down some bets, put some extra money in your pocket. You got expert picks and analysis on limited bet tracking. So, hey, if you want to bet against the Dolphins because that's a smart bet, Action Network is going to help you with that. But it's expert picks and analysis. Chatsports.com slash deal. Shout out to the Action Network. More Dolphins talk here on NFL Daily. That's why we're getting those subscriber counts up here. So what's Kenyon Drake's future? Dolphins had extension talks with Drake. But what is happening here? So this comes out of Miami. And I'm going to put on my tinfoil cap here and throw out a conspiracy theory. The Dolphins have leaked that they've had extension talks with Kenyon Drake in a desperate effort to get somebody to trade for him. Because Drake's not a part of their long-term plans. Because why would he be? So, and the Dolphins... he's in Toronto. The Dolphins have... Nice. The Dolphins have all kinds of money to spend in free agency. So they're not going to re-sign Kenyon Drake to bring back his less than four yards per carry. Which, I know, it's a bad offensive line. That's fair. It's the Dolphins. But they'll draft somebody in round two or round three and get a better player. So if they can get... A sixth round pick because they're not going to get a comp pick for him. That's worthwhile for them. I, I don't disagree. I mean, I still think Kenyon Drake, when you look at this running back depth chart, is still the clear cut best running back. Yes. I know it's not saying a lot. I'm not Thank a Caleb Balaj believer. Thank Walton, you. don't believe in him either. But like Kenyon Drake, I've seen Kenyon Drake play, but I've also seen running backs in the past who were not used correctly in Miami. And I think Lamar Miller is an. You know, one of the players there, sure, still not the best player when he was with the Texans, but he was a pro bowler last year. Pro tip, don't ever play a Dolphins player on FanDuel. That's good advice right there, man. That's Very all you need. Advice. We could probably just end the ad right there. So, FanDuel.com okay, slash what chat if? sports. But if. I got nothing for it. I can't name a single... I can't a single relevant Dolphins fantasy player this year. Start <laughs> Frank Gore against the Dolphins good pick. this week. Well, Heck, Singletary's back. Uh, He's practicing. Frank Gore. I don't okay. care. How many, how many rushing Gore yards? Frank Gore revenge game. Great point. Great point. So, Zeke, 
Dolphins. How many did Tony Pollard have against the Dolphins? Oh, he had over 100. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Start your players <laughs> on out. FanDuel against the Miami Dolphins. But if you want to challenge Tom or I, you got to go to FanDuel.com slash chat sports. $20 free with your first $20 deposit. Hopefully y'all didn't play Marcus Mariota this past week because um, my man did not look too good. He's on, my he's on my dynasty team. It's okay. I got Baker and Mahomes. Well, Mahomes is good. Yeah, Mahomes is good. Baker also kind of Baker's killing me too busy making Hulu commercials. Uh, the Titans are making Ryan Tannehill the starter. And Mitch, here's my question to you. Okay, but why? I have no idea. I mean, Ryan Tannehill. This is the ultimate change just to make a change. I mean. That's what this is. I, I kind of, you know, rip on Marcus Mariota quite often, right? Yes. I mean, seven touchdowns this year, two interceptions. But Ryan Tannehill is not better than Marcus Mariota. He's not. Like, well, I mean, you can look at the numbers here, and Tannehill hasn't been the same since that injury. That both of them had that one good year. Tannehill, ooh, twenty-seven and twelve, sixty-six percent over four thousand yards. But we've seen Ryan Tannehill, Tannehill. has a jersey he's, on, by the way. He looks like it, he's floating it, yeah, there. Yeah, just it does look neck. pretty funny. <laughs> uh, he is. He's a good backup. I mean, maybe that's just what Marcus Mariota is right now. But look, the Titans' biggest issue has been their offensive line and, and their scheme. As far as I'm, I don't, I don't think it's the quarterback play. You just you he's were done. like Ryan Tannehill. He's a good backup. I almost feel like it's like if your wife would be like, "Do I look good in this?" And you're kind of like, "You're all right." Which the answer, by the way, is always yes. You never M say anything. Is MK otherwise. watching? Let us know no, in the comments <laughs> section. Where will Marcus Mariota play in 2020? And if MK is watching, where will Tom live in 2020? Throw it in the comments <laughs> section. Where will Marcus Mariota play in 2020? I'll almost guarantee it's not in Tennessee. It's not Tennessee. He goes somewhere else. I have I have a great idea. Why don't the Titans and Bucks just trade quarterbacks? Could you swap even them out? Imagine. Just swap them out in free agency. No, that'd be terrible. It's funny though, right? That'd be terrible. That would really hurt my Chris Godwin stock. So where <laughs> will Marcus Mariota play? I'm seeing uh, Jared Sanchez says nowhere. Jeff Rogers going the Dolphins. Make sure you guys are commenting below on YouTube and on Facebook. Let's talk about the only team in the NFL with six losses. It's the Cincinnati Bengals. Thank you, Mitch. The Bungles. other term is a slur. Only Cincinnati people can say that. Type like Bungles myself. in the comments section to get Tom heated. All right. Um, as I take a deep breath and calm myself here. Bengals suck. Uh, they are in the midst of a rebuild, and they've been kind of trending the wrong direction here. The only sensible move for Cincinnati is to sell at the trade deadline. Now, the problem is, owner Mike Brown, who isn't quite as involved maybe he once was but he is still involved his children taking over a little more so too lately he doesn't like selling he doesn't like trade so aj green i think he stays okay he wants to be in cincinnati i think he stays There's a lot dunlap, of bungles in the comments section. dunlap and atkins recently signed extensions okay so i don't know if that's all that feasible but at minimum if you are the cincinnati Bengals and you do not trade away tyler eifert who's fine He'll bring you back a fifth-round pick or something along those lines. Maybe it's a sixth-round pick, whatever it is. You might as well do it. All right? CJ Uzama is in Cincinnati right now. They spent a second-round pick on Drew Sample. <clears throat> they missed on that one so far, but you might as well play him. Eifert doesn't actually do anything for you, so if you're the Bengals, it's time to sell, 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 and get some draft picks back for your rebuilding process. So here's our four players that the Bengals could potentially trade. You can see those chips in there if you also want to throw in the comments section. What's your favorite kind of chip? And make sure you guys are subscribed <laughs> to YouTube.com slash TV.